Okay, welcome to the lecture of development of lateral surfaces. In last lecture, we have seen the development of square pyramid, which is get cutted by an AIP, and that pyramid is resting on a HP by its base H. Now the next problem is same on the square pyramid. Now let's see the statement: a square pyramid of a base side 40 mm and axis side 60 mm dimensions are same is resting on HP on one of its corner. Now let's see it is resting on its corner. It is cut by an AIP which is inclined at 30 degree to the HP and bisecting the axis. Draw the development of lateral surfaces. Now firstly I am going to draw the top view. Now let's see as the given square pyramid is resting on HP by its square uh, its base corner. So that's why its corner should be lies at the left side. So what let's see here. This is the square pyramid which are resting on the HP by its corner. So as it is resting on corner, that's why its corner should be at right side. If it is resting on the edge, so its edge should be at the right side. Now it is resting on corner, that's why its corner is at the right side. So how I am going to construct this circle? Sorry, square pyramid. Draw the vertical line. Now measure a 45 degree angle. Draw the incline line. Now again measure this 45 degree angle. Draw the another incline line. Now take a 4 cm distance in a compass as the dimension is 40 mm is given. So that's why I am taking the 4 mm distance in a compass, 4 cm distance in a compass. Okay, so put it this one on this point, cut this line again, cut this line. Now put on this intersection points, draw an arc, again put on this inter this point and cut this arc so this arc will get intersect at this point so join this this one so this is the square which is resting on hp by its corner so my, make the notations a b c and d now i already told you that in case of a pyramid we have to need the find center so how to find the center when you connect the diagonals the intersection point is the center of the given square pyramid so this is the center so mark this as a o now connect this o o a o c then connect OB OD <laughs> now this is the top view so we have to draw the front view now I already told you that the front view of a pyramidal always triangle so how to consider this one take the projection of this axis up to the reference line then extend this one Now, take a distance 6 cm in a compass as the height is 6 is given. Mm. So, this distance 6 cm, cut this axis. Now, here you will get a point O dash. Now, project all these corner points on the reference line. Now do the notations. This is A dash. Now this one is B dash, D dash. This is C dash. Now connect this O dash with this A dash. Now O dash, B dash, D dash, O dash, C dash. Then this base edge. So this is the front view of a square pyramid. Okay. Now in last problem what we are doing, we are taking O as a center then from this O I am drawing the horizontal line. Okay. Now O as a center and any corner as a radius point, any corner. So here I am taking point B. Let's see when I am drawing the arc, so this arc will get coincided with this point C. So this O dash C dash is itself a 
ट्रू लेंथ लाइन इट्स एल्फ आर ट्रू लेंथ लाइन नाउ नेक्स्ट आई हैव टू कंसिडर द ए आई पी नाउ फॉर ए आई पी लेट सी द स्टेटमेंट इट इज कट बाय एन ए आई पी विच इज इंक्लाइन एट थर्टी डिग्री टू एच पी एंड बाय सेक्टिंग द एक्सिस नाउ इट्स इंक्लेनेशन इज थर्टी डिग्री इज गिवन ओके इट्स इंक्लेनेशन इज थर्टी डिग्री विथ एच पी इज गिवन एंड इट विल बायसेक द एक्सिस सो इट मीन्स बायसेकटी मीन्स इट इक्वली डिवाइड द एक्सिस सो द एक्सिस हाइट इज सिक्सटी एम एम सो इट विल कट दिस एक्सिस लाइन एट अ डिस्टेंस थर्टी एम एम फ्रॉम बेस और मे और थर्टी एम एम फ्रॉम टॉप बोथ आर द सेम सो हियर आई एम मार्किंग द थर्टी एम एम पॉइंट फ्रॉम द बेस ड्रा द हरिजेंटल लाइन नाउ टेक अ थर्टी डिग्री एंगल ड्रॉ द लाइन सो दिस इज द ऑक्जरी इंक्लाइन प्लेन विच makes an angle 30 degree to the horizontal line and which will intersect this axis at a 30 mm from a base and also the 30 mm from the top so it will bisect the axis so this is the eip now next mark this points So this is a double dash. Now this one is what? B double dash, D double dash. Now this one, C double dash. Now take a true length line. Firstly, so there is no need this off. So firstly mark a point. O dash. Draw the one horizontal line. So this is the whole O dash. Now take a this O dash C direction is compass true length line distance. Always take a true length line distance. So as it is resting on corner, so this. Line O dash C dash H is itself a true length line. So take a this distance in a compass, true length line distance in a compass. Then put it on O dash, cut this line, and draw an arc. Then next mark this point as a A dash. Now take a four centimeter distance in a compass as the base length is what four ten mm is given. That is, I am taking the four centimeter distance in compass. Now start from a dash, cut this arc. Okay. So here I am cutting this one. Then cut this arc four times as it is a square. If it is pentagon, so I am going to cut this arc five times. So I am cutting this one by. Four times. So O dash, A dash. Now mark this point. B dash, C dash, D dash, and last one is again A dash. Now it is this extended arc. Also, it is this extended line. Now connect this O dash with B dash, C dash, O B, O C dash, O D dash, O A dash. So here I connected O dash A dash O dash B dash O dash C dash O dash D dash O dash A dash. Now same connect base corners A dash B dash B dash C dash C dash D dash D dash A dash. Connect all those base corners points by using a straight line, dark straight line. Okay, here I connected A dash B dash B dash C dash C dash D dash D dash A dash by using a straight line. Now mark all those points. On the corresponding edges. So, take a distance O dash A dash from front view. O dash A dash this distance. Now cut the line of A dash. So it is A dash. Again, this last one is A dash. This one. This is. A double dash. This one is again a double dash. Now O dash. This B dash D dash. Okay. 
so put it on o dash divide this b dash line b dash and what d dash so b dash and this is d dash so mark this point as b double dash this is d double dash so a dash b double dash d double dash a double dash and remaining one is c dash so measure o dash c dash and compass and put it on o dash then connect this points mark this one as c double dash now connect this a double dash b double dash b double dash c double dash c double dash d double dash d double dash a double dash now connect this a double dash with a dash b double p double dash with b dash c double dash with c dash d double dash with d dash and a double dash with a dash okay. so this is the development of square pyramid which is resting on its corner and which will get in cut by the 30 degree aip which will cut this axis bisect